we are here at uh, in the chamber of East Yang Deputy Commissioner uh, Dr. Kim Ni Singh. So we will try to get more details regarding what the district administration is going to do regarding the repeated power uh, disruption here in East Yang district and eastern part of Madhya Pradesh. Uh, what your district administration is going to do because the mem uh, memorandum and the uh, appeal has been submitted to you regarding this alternative power management. So what what is your uh, do on this? Uh, so basically. Uh, uh, first of all, we have reviewed and we we are reviewing the situation of power very closely. Right. And kal bhi ek humne ek meeting rakha hai high powered meeting yes. under the chairmanship of honourable MLA. Yes. Uh, and just me ki Ita Nagar se bhi hum representatives ko bula rahe hain, uh, superintendent engineer transmission and power ko bhi bula rahe hain. And we are working towards early resolution of the problem. But since the problem is caused by the uh, nature fury, so yes. इस वजह से थोड़ा ज़्यादा disruption हो रहा है। Regarding alternative power supply, we are pursuing things for alternative renewable energy sources के भी हम थोड़ा देख रहे हैं। Solar power का भी यहाँ पे अगर कुछ scope है, feasibility analysis already हम smart city में कर रहे हैं चीज़ के लिए। बाकी जो भी update है, that will be open to public after the meeting of Smart city and after tomorrow's meeting. Okay, and one more thing from VP to the business side. Just now, Akhil Mehta said that there were some low quality work in the work of the one of the KV line. So, as a district administration, if this kind of question has been raised to you, do you have the knowledge regarding this? Regarding, अभी तक तो ऐसा कोई मेरे पास complaint submit नहीं हुआ है. अगर complaint आती है तो बकायदा मैं उसकी inquiry करवाऊँगी. And उसके बाद एक inquiry board बिठा के बकायदा we will take steps. Okay. But अभी तक तो ऐसा कोई complaint हमें receive नहीं हुआ है इस चीज़ के लिए. Okay. And ma'am, there was some proposal from this power grid regarding new schemes. So what is the status of that program? So it is comprehensive scheme for power transmission and the currently ये scheme power grid के द्वारा चलाई जा रही है. Yes. And Basically, there are 132 by 33 KV substations which are in Napit village and Niglok and there are 6 substations in Pasikhat proposed. So, district administration has been handed over to the district administration and I am also monitoring it very closely and in the coming week also, we will convene the meeting with the Power Grid with the Chairmanship of Honorable MLA and we will have a meeting with the Chairmanship of Honorable MLA and we will have a meeting with the Chairmanship of Honorable MLA. And we will ensure कि जल्दी से जल्दी ये power की problem का resolution जल्दी से जल्दी हो जाए। Power grid का scheme अगर आ जाता है area में grid injection हो जाता है, तो तब इतना ज़्यादा problem पासी घाट की power के लिए नहीं रहना चाहिए। But currently we are monitoring everything। अभी problem इसलिए हो रहा है क्योंकि हमारे पास lines रफ़ एक ही तरफ से हैं और grid के साथ हम connected नहीं हैं। So हमारा पूरा ध्यान है हमारा पूरा एफर्ट है कि जल्दी से जल्दी पासीघाट को मेन ग्रिड के साथ कनेक्ट किया जाए जी और मैं वन थिंग ये जो आसाम से जो ऑटोमेटिक जो पावर सप्लाई है इसका मतलब पोजीशन अभी क्या है क्योंकि इससे सफिशन पावर नहीं आ रहा है तो उसके ऊपर कुछ ध्यान दिया जा रहा है हाँ बिल्कुल उसके ऊपर भी मेरी एग्जीक्यूटिव इंजीनियर से बात हो रही है रेगुलरली वी आर ऑल्सो मॉनिटरिंग क्लोजली मॉनिटरिंग कि आसाम की तरफ से कितना पावर आ रहा है बट सिंस एक्चुअली डिस्टेंस बहुत ज़्यादा है आसाम की तरफ से लाइन में तो वो डिस्टेंस में लॉसेस हो जाते हैं इलेक्ट्रिसिटी लॉसेस हो जाते हैं बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ डिस्टेंस इसकी वजह से आसाम की तरफ से थोड़ा सा लो वोल्टेज सप्लाई आ पाती है यहाँ पे बट वी आर क्लोजली मतलब ऑल ऑफ़ अस आर डूइंग कलेक्टिव एफर्ट्स कि जल्दी से जल्दी इस प्रॉब्लम का रिजोल्यूशन हो जाए तो दिस वाज़ द डिप्टी कमिश्नर डॉक्टर किन्नी सिंह एंड सी सेड दैट फ्रॉम द हर साइड द इनिशिएटिव हैज़ बीन टेकन एंड टुमोरो विद इनिशिएटिव ऑफ़ दिस डिप्टी कमिश्नर एंड फ्रॉम दिस लोकल एमएलए पासिगार कालिंग मायों कंसल्टेटिव एंड वेरी कोऑर्डिनेशन मीटिंग विल बी हेल्ड हियर वेयर द एक्सपर्ट फ्रॉम टान so hopefully the initiative taken by this deputy commissioner and the MLA will be resolving this power problem of this Pasida and the Istanbul Nacho. Right now we are here at the deputy commissioner's office and we are going to talk with DPWC chairman, Okom Yosun. So he will tell us exactly what is the problem regarding the disruption of electricity connectivity in the region. So, Mr. Yosu, welcome to our Bodhis Live. And uh, you have been a very uh, uh, person who has raised the voice of uh, this uh, repeated disruption of electricity connectivity.
So recently, the enter grid line of 100 kb line has uh, already already disappeared. So what is your say on this? And uh, what should <coughs> be the features to check it out? Thank you very much. Uh, on disruption of 132 line, that means Romanoji, the PPWC in the last six six years yes. we have fight against the national government for immediate restoration of 132 line and power supply in Pasigat Township and in general Eastern District. So in this connection, as a chairman of PPWC, I would suggest and appeal the national government, particularly the transmission and the power department, regarding Rangarandi to Pasiga, grid connection is around 300 km, is always seen to be full, and high tower is to be avoided, paling trees, plant, plant damage, etc. However, due to low quality construction, that is the major reason. Pasiga is the oldest town of Arunachal protest, has no any local power source, Till today, so we need immediate alternate power source to mitigate the consumers in Isham Pasiga. Okay, and one more thing, uh, this uh, repeated disruptions over this 102 KB line has been a major problem. So what is the alternative solution for this? Uh, regarding this case, the better to explain the department concern okay. because they are the authority of the power and they have to insert the, this insert the public for immediate restoration of life.